Using deepfake technology and AI, voices can be cloned and made to say almost anything. The calls Idaho voters received last weekend were made to impersonate Senator Chuck Winder. In my opinion, it's not the Idaho way. I hate to see this kind of dirty politics continue and get worse each election cycle. Senator Winder says the deep fake calls made are tied to a group called Young Americans for Liberty, a self-described libertarian campus activism group. He alleges one of the men who contributed to the calls is a state representative to South Carolina. So they kind of hummed and hawed and finally said, well, he must be opposed to the Freedom Caucus. The Freedom Caucus is a congressional Republican caucus, generally considered the most conservative bloc in the chamber. It's coming from that far right group. They're attacking myself, they're attacking the speaker, and they've singled out uh, other members of the House and Senate to attack with these uh, lies and false communications. The calls implied Winder is for amnesty for undocumented immigrants, which he says is incorrect. We need to reform our guest worker program at the federal level. We need to uh, not have amnesty for those people that came to our country illegally. The Idaho State Senate Majority Caucus says the fabricated statements attempted to manipulate voter perception ahead of the primaries. Winder implores voters to continue to research before voting. People just need to get out, figure out who the candidates are, figure out who's supporting them. The Idaho State Senate released a statement saying they stand with Senator Winder and urge Idahoans to remain vigilant and seek truth and accuracy while engaging in politics. Both Senator Winder and the Majority Caucus says that working together collectively will be the key to preventing misinformation and protecting the electoral process. In studio, I'm Savannah Hankard reporting.